So these are all the components that uh, you'll need for the assembly of the T300 transmissive pH dip probe. Uh, we have the fiber ferrule here. This is the RE Biffboro randomized bundle with the two fiber legs for the spectrometer and the, uh, and the light source. Uh, we have the main ferrule. This is what we're going to attach the pH patch to at the lens tip right here. And then the mirrored tip. Uh, this is the uh, tip that screws on the end and there's a mirror inside of it. Once upon a time, these uh, tops of the mirrors screwed off and you could also put a patch on there, but uh, the change has been made to epoxy these on so uh, you can no longer fix a second patch on there. Although in the manual it mentions uh, adding a second patch that actually can't be done uh, anymore. So. Three of the tools that are very useful for this are a pair of tweezers, a razor blade, and a uh, .05 inch Allen key. Uh, this is used to secure the set screws on the side of the T300 main ferrule. So, using taking our pH patch, we're going to separate. We're going to separate this. I'll do what I can to get up close here. So using a razor blade, it can be difficult to just get right in there. And it separates into the two pieces. Now you can discard this white piece is trash. So you can get rid of that. But you'll notice that there's still this piece of transmissive, it's uh, mainly green patch. We're going to stick that with the sticky side down onto the tip of the probe here. There we are. So you can see that's been stuck to the tip and then if you just firmly press against it like this, it's adhered on there and it'll stick on there. Now with the patch on, we can take the cap and just screw it back on all the way. Make sure it's on tight. So the main ferrule is ready now. We have the patch installed, the pH patch here at the tip and the mirrors here. And we want now to take the fiber bundle and run this up inside of the ferrule. Now you can adjust this if you'd like by placing it into water and looking at the scope mode inspector suite and adjusting the position of these fibers uh, inside there but you'll get good readings no matter what so you can just get it in there and then using the allen key secure the set screw, like so. So that's good and tight. So that's not going anywhere. So once that's together, you're all set for calibration. All you have to do is connect these ends to the spectrometer and light source, and then this was going to go in pH 1 for your light reference. And the rest of the procedure can be found uh, in the manual found on the website, uh, or likewise, I can give you uh, written instructions via email.